Uh, so this is an 81-year-old female. Um, she has a history of hypertension, um, DM, hyperlipidemia, um, non-STEMI with a PCI inserted in 2013, and also asthma. So and she presented with recurrent cholecystitis with PTC inserted, and the most recent um, cholecystogram in October this year showed contrast flow into the duodenum with resistance and the reflux into pancreatic duct. There was also filling defects in the gallbladder, suggestive of stone. And this is the cholecystogram. And so today we'll be performing a U.S. guided gallbladder drainage for this patient. Actually, uh, this case is, uh, is a very tough case because uh, this patient uh, al already performed the U.S. Uh, Parkinson's gallbladder drainage uh, about two months ago. The gallbladder lumen may be contracted. So I think the U.S. guided gallbladder drainage the best case is uh, markedly distended gallbladder. But, uh, this case is, uh, uh, could you show the fluoroscope? Do you have a fluoroscopy for you? Okay, this case is uh, multiple stone and the gallbladder is uh, uh, contracted. So there is no room for the uh, stent placement, but I try to for the uh, patient. So before, oh. When this this kind of the, uh, situation, before puncture but, uh, to the gallbladder, we should distend the gallbladder. So I injected uh, some saline into the gallbladder. That will happen. Yeah. And uh, Sanso, uh, do you want to? Uh Drain from the uh, duodenum or from the stomach? Yeah, I'm you, I'm, my preferred uh, puncture site is uh, duodenum, but uh, sometimes it's not easy to the find the ideal uh, uh, puncture site. So in that case, uh, I, I perform the uh, US guide the, uh, puncture from the uh, prepylory enterum. We have a lot of patient problems. patient is not a surgical candidate? Is he not a surgical candidate? Yeah, the patient is... Uh, 80, 81, and uh, she has uh, multiple comorbidities. So, I think the, uh, according to the uh, long-term outcomes, uh, the uh, recurrence rate is uh, less than 5% at three years. So, I think the, uh, this kind of procedure is uh, another alternative option for the uh, very old age person. So I thought in Hong Kong, 81 was young. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so yes. uh, in general, we have a lot of issues from <laughs> draining <laughs> from the stomach. So as if possible, we'll try to drain from the duodenum as much as uh, uh, possible. Yeah. Before my procedure, uh, yesterday I used a uh, specially designed stent. Everyone uh, very you have view? interested uh, about uh, the stent. So yesterday I used a uh, hybrid stent. So it's made by the bonus stand. So this stand has a big plunge in the distal part and the center of the uh, stand. So covered portion here, uncovered portion here. The covered portion is about uh, 45 millimeter and the, the other is uncovered portion. Sometimes we perform the US guide cholesterol codiodan stomy. Uh, we pu the usually puncture side is the middle part of the uh, CBD. The we usually use a short, short uh, length of uh, stent, but the, the short length of stent is uh, very unstable after deployment. So I, uh, the bonus stent has a six, uh, six centimeter uh, specially designed stent. The stent is uh, uh, inserted into the, even into the intrapatic duct, so uncovered portion uh, can go through the contralateral side of the intrapatic duct. So, uh, and then there is a two flap anti migrating system, so it may prevent the uh, inward migration and uh, outward migration. So, uh, this is a hybrid stand, and uh, today I will use uh, the this kind of stand is this is a uh, air stand is so it's also made by Buna Buna company so we have a uh, big flanges uh, both uh, end of stand so this is the tubular stand uh, not lumen opposing so i think the 
uh, tubular stent may prevent the uh, buried lamp syndrome. So, yeah, okay, I tried to the uh, gallbladder puncture. So, are you in the stomach or the adenum now? Uh, maybe stomach. This is not a lumen opposing stent, so what is the risk of uh, some leakage around the area because you don't get the two surfaces together? Uh, leakage, uh, in terms of leakage, so the metal stent, so after deployment, it is self expandable. So by leakage, you usually use uh, the along side of the stand and the fistula track. So metal stand, uh, every metal stand uh, uh, can prevent the immediate by leakage. And then the pro big problem with conventional stand is uh, migration. So after we deployment to sta uh, stand, the most uh, metal stand is uh, getting shortened, and then uh, you. Usually, biliary and gallbladder, gallbladder uh, stenting, the, that is a non-adherent uh, non lumen. So, there is a peristasis uh, between organs. So, the stent, if, if the stent has no antimicrobial system, the stent is, can be moved into the outer or the in inward. Uh, if, so, there is the, uh, another situation with the bilic. So, I think the immediate bilic can prevent the every metal stand. So, okay, I, foc I, I would like to focus uh, my procedure. So here is the gallbladder. There is uh, many stones here. And I, f I find the uh, uh, ideal point. So I think the this is the uh, ideal point for the procedure. Okay. I'm gonna inject a little bit more yeah, saline yeah, thank you. to help you. Oh, shit. So, um, um, in this year's DDW, um, we had a uh, multi center study of around uh, almost 500 patients with gallbladder drainage. We looked at various indications. Um, acute cholecystitis was the majority of uh, patients that receive uh, EGBD. Um, there are some that receive a uh, conversion of percutaneous uh, cholecystostomy. And there were some that were done for uh, symptomatic gallstones, mainly from China. So we found that uh, with percutaneous uh, drains, uh, conversion of percutaneous drains, it was uh, actually more difficult with these procedures. Um, again, mm -hmm. The concept that uh, not all gallbladders are the same uh, w is infused to us uh, very early on as a surgeon. We do a laparoscopic cholecystectomy in a symptomatic gallstone versus a patient with chronic cholecystitis is uh, uh, very different. S and it's much more difficult to do a uh, cholecystectomy in a chronic patient with chronic cholecystitis. So the concept is uh, similar for EGBD, US guided gallbladder drainage. Um, with a contracted gallbladder, the target is much smaller. Sometimes the puncture uh, may be difficult because the wall may be uh, fibrotic. Uh, so you can see the gallbladder right there. Yeah. So Anthony, in a situation like this, how do you convince? I know you're a surgeon, but many of our surgeons, uh, laparoscopic surgeons, are not too happy with this. They would think that. Primary procedure so be a now, right now we're still doing the, the procedure mainly for patients which are not surgery candidates. Okay. Um, Senso just punctured the gallbladder. Yeah, we can see that. Um, so I think for Very surgeon pregnant. there are two issues. One is we worry about complications induced by our gastroenterologist colleagues. Yeah. So if we puncture from the duodenum, then uh, they, we will uh, the stand migrates, then uh, there's a risk of a colodocal uh, duodenal uh, perforation. Yeah. So uh, in, our, in our study of around 500 patients, actually none of the patients had a migration of stents. 
So that was uh, quite encouraging. Okay, uh, I puncture uh, during uh, answers comment. I punctured the gallbladder, and I inserted the guide wire through the uh, stand, uh, through the leader. So I pull back the leader, and during uh, interventional procedure, uh, you should keep the guide wire on the image uh, US image. So that is very important because uh, uh, the. That is the actual coaxial coaxial trajectory. So I think the uh, many uh, beginners uh, should uh, try to the keep the guide wire on the US image. So, Dr. So Lee, any particular guide wire you have preference? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm love uh, VG Glide. So VG Glide has a O two five O two five curve tip. Okay. So the arrow is uh, pointing towards the uh, guide wire right there. A bigger US wheel. Can we have a bigger and super ultrasound wheel? So, Senso, you're going to dilate the track with the systotome? Yep, six French systotome. So, bonus system is usually eight French delivery system. Uh, I usually use just a six French systotome. Uh, we don't need uh, additional balloon dilatation, but uh, uh, some, t some cases uh, uh, can. Uh, also need uh, uh, balloon dilatation, but uh, usually I perform the systotome uh, uh, only. I, I use the systotome only. Okay, systotome uh, is uh, coming out from the working channel. I try to the uh, dilate the fistula track. Okay. okay. Very quickly, the systotome uh, is in the gallbladder. So, uh, do we have the sand available? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, stand. Yeah, uh, 50. Uh, uh, 50, 50. So, do you need to direct the track with the balloon or you just go straight with the stand? Go straight with the stand. Yeah, yeah. I don't need the balloon dilatation. So, with the bonus stand, they have a uh, 8 French uh, delivery system. Yeah. So, um, it's easier to get in without the use of a... Uh, Balloon. So normally, uh, after a systotome, yeah. we would need to uh, dilate the track with a um, four millimeters balloon to allow introduction of a ten French delivery system. So you are not using any dilatation here, but is it okay because this is eight French and you did so a six French? So it's eight French, uh, a six. So just now we used a six French systotome. So it's around two millimeters in size. Uh, with an eight, it's around uh, three. Yeah. So uh, I think with Sang So, he has um, a lot of experiences. It's only one millimeter difference. That's a graduated uh, tip in the delivery system. So we'll see, right? Yeah. Okay, the stand is uh, inside. So the went in pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. Can you open the. Okay, stand? so uh, you may want to have the x ray view. Could yes. you show the yeah. X-ray view? Yeah, we can see that. Okay, stop. Okay, this part is a uh, big flange system. Can we magnify the X-ray view, please? But uh, it is very, it is interfere with the stone. But uh, the I securely confirmed the the stand is inside the gallbladder. I continue to deploy. Uh, so can you see the stand is inside the gallbladder? Yeah, yep. we can see the... the so, Sang So deployed the stand within the gallbladder and also the channel of the scope. Yeah. yeah. And as you can see in the US view, you can see the stand. So he's deployed the stand in the inside and then he's going to pull the scope out. And he's going to the push the stand out. Yeah. So this is yeah. the safest way to yeah, deploy sure. uh, a uh, stand. Yeah. 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 So he's pushing out the stand and um, oh, completed the procedure. Yeah. So this is in the antrum. This uh, is in the duodenum. Duodenum. This is the duodenum. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. You made it look very easy, but I'm sure yeah. a lot of. Uh,